Hello everyone and welcome back to Archvale here with me and my city and throwing stars of doom. That's exactly what they are. Uh, last time we were here we had just collected some stuff, I think. Did we get the we got the shard? Well no, we were on our way to do that. We're down in a dungeon. We're trying to find our way to get this this next shard of the thingy bajogger, so Hmm. Okay. Here we go. Sorry. A little distracted for a second. Responding to about a million things all at once. My life is incredibly busy. <laughs> But we're taking time to entertain, to titillate, and to play video games in front of people on the internet that may or may not ever actually see it. So, you know, that's just how we do. Thousands of damage on you. Ha ha ha. All the little bony guys dead. Giant explodey bony guy that I almost walked into. That would have been bad. Got our Indiana Jones helmet on. Can't go up through there. I think we're having to walk all the way around just so that we can, like, unlock a shortcut back. I think that's pretty much what that is. Fire flowers, they go across the gap. They do. Might as well throw some fire flowers at somebody who's over there in an attempt to not just have to die. Take that. Got you. Don't you go bouncing things at me. Evil. Evil was his one and only name. Dr. Evil. Ow, I'm getting murdered. They went and did a murder on me, everybody. Big old laser guy who's shooting all the little flamey thingies. Got you. I like how they've got different size coins that indicate, you know, how much money some of these things are worth. It's pretty nice. Ouch! Should have seen that coming. I didn't, because I'm distracted. Blood. This individual has armor. Maybe we'll get out the, the jackal spear. Break the armor. This jackal spear doesn't break armor? Why not? Like every spear in the game so far has done armor, armor penetration. Okay, it still works. Maybe it's not on an every enemy occurrence. Man, I am getting just wasted here. There's something that maybe we could do. Oh, not on the other side of this wall. You can use the flail to attack things around corners and stuff. Which could be nice. But I'm getting blowed up. That's right, we were up here when we died. That's why I ended up going back to town. We had a bunch of money. We died in this room, I'm pretty sure. And then, uh, gosh. I gotta learn how to see all the projectiles and dodge them more effectively. That's what I gotta do. Why won't you die? Stop healing. Uh, uh, we're down to like one health. We still have 10 billion enemies. I gotta throw a bunch of fire all over the place. Oh, oh shoot. Uh, ah, that was it. Fell down. Didn't see me online, Vs? Sure you didn't. You don't secretly hate me. I see how it is. Power up. Power up. Power, power, power up. Uh, let's try... If that... Is there an alternate path that I haven't gone yet? I feel like maybe there is. I gotta learn how to not get hit more often. Because as soon as I'm able to do that, maybe I can win. How's the work on your game going, my friend? I'm excited to see what you do with all that stuff you're making. We got a door over here. We gotta finish these off. We'll go over there and see what's there. 
I'm getting all kinds of archaeologist hats. So I'm thinking of names, and one of the working title titles is Double Dragons of Rula. <laughs> That's awesome. The Double Dragons of Rula. Well, we got a different environment in this one. Looks like it's partially outside-ish. Outside-ish is a term. Look it up. It means sort of outside, but not. It's not actually a word or a term. We did get a key, which is a good thing. Anybody else's eyes burning? My eyes are burning. I've been ridiculously abnormally tired lately. Maybe because I'm overworking myself. That might be it. But don't, don't let me tell you that. Might be getting a job soon, and I'm going back to college at the same time to finish my degree, although I'm going to switch from uh, computer sciences and programming over to digital art, because I find more, more joy out of that. I didn't come here to learn words, Big D says. Sure you did. What is this? A bell. Oh, it's just a treasure. Just a treasure? Blech. I don't want a treasure. Treasures are not worth anything but money. Ah, laser guy, and I walk right into it multiple times, as a matter of fact. I'm gonna beat you up with cactus flails. Blood. Another key door here, and I'm start starting to regret having used the uh, key that we had on the other door, because all it gave me was silver things. Quit bringing everyone back, you horrible monster. They would just want their rest. They want to live in... Oh, we had another key. <laughs> hey, look at that. Good. I didn't even know I had another key. Charger. Another charger. Apparently, I said hello to his weapon. We got a red chest with an opulent ring inside of it. Slain enemies drop extra gold versus bonus damage to skeletons. Could use extra gold. Now we gotta get the other key for this one. What's gonna happen to the channel? I don't know. It'll still be there, but it might be diminished if I can't do stuff with it anymore. Oh god, come on. I want to be able to do it full time, at all times, forever. The fact of the matter is, uh, I can't afford that anymore. I was able to for a while. I haven't gotten a single commission since um, October. Although I keep trying, and other people are helping me. And um, I can't seem to find a a way to make ends meet appropriately. And my Kickstarter got about $3,000 less than I probably needed for this, this season. <laughs> the original Aether and Steamworks ran, got me, a run got me um, nearly $6,000, but that was after like four months of work on it. Well, basically a year and a half of work on it, but four months setting it up and then finishing it. It didn't fail me. There's just, you know, this little thing called life isn't really fair. <laughs> it's fine. Maybe I'll get lucky. Maybe I'll find some way to work online or something or do something that allows me to keep doing this stuff. At the very least, uh, I will try to set up games for online that will work on my days off. And I'll just never rest again, anytime ever. Yeah. It is what it is. I lost, you know, 
a year and a half of progress with a different group that might have had me in a different position by now, based on the stuff that I'd been doing and the history of shows and all kinds of stuff that could have become continuous other content or built up a... Anyway. What could have been, but wasn't, to be talked about forever. Directions I could have taken. Again, something that could have been talked about forever. If I, um... If I were to... find some way to fix it, then yeah, great. I've run like my game for what, like eight different communities, nine different communities, in a hopes that it would cause some individuals to be interested in, in what I have. <laughs> and in some cases it worked a little. I mean, it got some notice most of the time. It was just, hey, we're just out here playing games, but I still haven't gotten I've got one book sale um, in the last two months. And it's not even a book sale, it's a PDF sale. 526 gold lost. Ah, oh, that one kind of hurts. Um, shoot, let's pop outside. 500, 600, 700? Nah, we'll keep trying. I didn't mean to actually do that. Whatever. People don't want something new that they have to learn. They don't want to have to make their own stuff anymore. It's all about making sure everything is as easy as possible or doing what they know best because it's easier than learning anything else. I know you would have, man. I appreciate the, uh, the help you have given. The only real option I have is if any of those... Um, <laughs> production companies that I'd reached out to and even so much as returned any of my emails that might have been helpful. If any of the 116 art-related jobs I'd signed up to had returned any of my emails, that would have been helpful. But no. It's fine. I don't want to be uh, doing a woe is me episode, which is what this is already turning into. YouTubers, come listen to Eeyore play a game for you. If you don't know who Eeyore is, I'm sorry, I'm old. But no. Um, I've been trying for almost four years now to make this game idea work. And it has not. So, I'm not going to give it up. I'm just going to have to slow it down a lot, probably. Which kind of sucks. Because it's a dream. It's a dream that has ended. This chamber, this particular one chamber, is brutal. It would probably help if I learned how to use my dodge mechanic easier, better, but uh, I don't. I, I just don't have that as an option. The two fire guys, here we go. We'll throw fire back in return and see if we can make that work for us. It'd be a good idea if I was actually aiming at my enemy. Ow! No! Got that one. Okay, was that it? Okay, sweet. We have actually made it through this room for once. And we'll move on to the next one with a bunch of ow, archers that are shooting me and healing very rad. I died there. <laughs> 500 gold lost again. Seems to be roughly what we're losing every time right now with dying, so we're going to pop out of town. Out, out to town. Try to do an upgrade type thing. Maybe get rid of some of this junk that we don't really need to be carrying on ourselves right now. You know, there's a place down here we haven't been. Let's just see what's down there first. 
Go away, mini evils. Ah. in this game come at you at random directions it's like how are you supposed to keep track of everything on screen all the way the fact of the matter is you kind of can't you just have to play it by feel definitely scratches that like old school gaming itch mixed with like your binding of isaacs and stuff the fact that it's a continue continual forward progression game i think is a brave move because everybody's kind of going to this procedural um, uh, roguelike style where you just die and lose and that's it. But that's there's a different um, style of game development that goes into that. Because the only thing you have to consider is what are these upgrades and how do they react to make you as overpowered as possible towards endgame. Whereas when you're creating a game that has continual progression, you have to look more about what are the balances. How do I make this actually feel like a continual progression thing? Can't wait for the day I can call and tell you it's you time. <laughs> yeah, that would be cool. But I'm not really in a mental space where I can see that happening. I've been trying my whole life to have anything really positive happen. And I have to say that I, I did succeed in that in finding the community and all the cool people that I got to hang out with and, and know and learn about and play games with and have those little stories. I got my 15 minutes of fame. I can't really ask for much more. Uh, most people don't get that. I got to feel special and I got to help make community members feel special and all of that was really what it was all about. But I would have loved to have a modicum of success. Enough that all of us could maybe have made it even into a minor career or something, you know? It doesn't really matter how hard you try. <laughs> it matters on how lucky you get and on uh, how much money you spend. That's the that's the rub of it. That's the big thing. If I'd spent a thousand dollars or more on just like advertising all the time, hmm. <laughs> see you when you get back. Child, do I see that glint of glorious treasure upon your personage? Please show me. Here, have a silver bell. Silver bells. Silver bells. I don't really like holiday music. Not a humongous fan of it. Anything new? Anything interesting that we could make and try out? An obsidian rod? An infection staff? Toxic two-shot. A uh, bag of poison knives. You know, I did want to make that. Currently, we're using um, we're using our obsidian boomerang plus three. These things do 31 damage plus 10 poison. I gotta see how that works. This is 100 damage, and it kind of comes back to you, so I'm not sure. Like, there's no way to tell specific progression other than maybe colors, I guess, of rarity? Maybe that's the thing? Maybe. Hmm. I should probably look this up at some point. <laughs> but as it is now, we have a bunch of junk and not a whole lot of stuff to do with it. Again, the one thing that I have been a little bit um, off-put by a uh, minor aspect of this game is just there's so many of these items that I don't know if I should just throw them away. We got lots of room in our our box here, so let's put them in there for now. We got like a whole bunch of old slime. We got uh, old shell shards that we never touch anymore. Crab shells, which I'm pretty sure we built all the crab shell part stuff. We could try a different build at some point. We'll keep the obsidian armor in here. We don't need the crab mail. Uh, 
archaeologist's hat and jackets. We got bonuses of those, a whole bunch of extra ones we can't do anything with. If we could just sell things. Game designers, if you're out there, can you give us a way to sell items, please? I have not found it yet. And I feel like that would be really helpful uh, in making us feel like there was any purpose to have some of these items. Okay, putting those away. Currently, we're in the uh, range damage up stuff. We're gonna grab this bag of poison knives and see how it works for us. I mean, it's like a little machine gun. I like that. And then uh, we'll upgrade it just because it's low level and won't cost us too much. We're up to a plus four bag of knives. Look at that. It didn't increase the poison damage, which has me a little concerned. Get rid of blue ribbon, arrow bender. We don't really need an arrow bender. Let's grab the emerald brooch so we can increase our damage. Um, and a heart clover. Oh, and a blue ribbon. No? Eh, we'll keep the arrow bender. Okay, fine. Fine. And then we'll go use this thing, and then we'll head back in and see if we can't get this done this time. Try with the new, the new item. Back into the, the dark, dank depths of depravity with our blades of Florian. Back up to the area that's completely full of things that just murderize us. Let's see if this does any good. Okay, it's kind of neat. It does throw a bunch of poison on people, which then stacks and causes damage over time. But the daggers don't go through targets, it doesn't look like. They do more damage, I think, independently, like against a single target. But against multiple targets, these are way better. I'm still getting murdered. Oh, I exploded. <laughs> well, that didn't go very far. Let's try that again. So against a, a large target or something that needs to go down very rapidly, maybe the daggers work better. But against multiple targets, this is definitely the way to go. Yeah, that's... That's so good against a single target. I saw that fireball coming and I still just kind of stood in it. <laughs> because of course I did. I'm not entirely certain um, what, if the poison does uh, damage on hit, kind of like the bleed effect did. Or if it does it over time. Because right now, look, got poisoned, but nothing happened. So it's only effective while I'm hitting the target. So it's like a ranged bleed effect in this case for us. I mean, it's neat. But again, not entirely certain how effective it is. Ah, gosh! No! Bad archers. Got you. Trying to keep that health up so we don't just die right away. There it's you. And we'll throw up. Oh, I gotta get the actual weapon out. Daggers away. Ow. Bag of knives took down that target pretty quick. Go out here and kill some, some archie boys. Eat daggers. Does that get rid of healing? Because if that does, that's that's really good. That would be a good thing to learn about. Let's throw some daggers out here. Ow! So many threats all at once. And I'm just walking into everything. I am no professional Arcvale player. Or gamer. <laughs> I mean, I enjoy it. I'm a casual gamer. I'm a, I'm a dirty casual, everyone that's watching, just so you know. Who still likes to argue that if I had... Um... No, no. Oh, gosh. It does not get rid of healing. I have just uh, discovered this. It's 
still not entirely certain if it's doing more damage than my boomerangs. I think maybe. But it's awfully hard to tell sometimes. Ow. Ow. Well, here's where we died before. Let's see if the same thing happens again. Probably. The answer is probably a yes. Just so you know. So we're not having any expectations here of things that are not going to come to pass. Ow. Gosh. It just keeps regenerating because of this guy. You are a healing type guy, aren't you? You're pretty slow. Ow. Crud. Come on. Come on, just get past this one room, please. Come on. There's a fireball mage. No. Got you with a bomb, but didn't kill you. Still more. I mean, how many do I have to kill in this room? Oh, I got a heart. That doesn't mean much, but I got it. Ah, uh, those stupid purple stupids. Stupid purple stupids. They are arg. The amount of things on screen, I'm telling you, for someone with eyes like mine that can't pay attention to things. Not, not fair. Eat a bomb. You just keep healing that person, don't you? That's what's happening. Like I said, I'm, I don't think I'm doing more damage with those daggers than I am with my, uh, with my boomerang here. We are quite injured, though, so... Slicey guy, he's down. Yeah, this is significantly better with these. I should not have used all the money that I did to upgrade those daggers when they're not as good as these. But, you know, lessons will be learned. This is why, this is why we have the ability to experience things. So we can get better, right? Although if we had all the time in the world, we could learn everything. But we don't have all the time in the world, so it's important to learn quickly. Learn how to succeed quickly. Ow. <laughs> I just bounced off the wall. Hit me in the face. I wish I had some way of doing like a regenerative heal effect like that. That would be nice. As it is, I just have to rely on my ability to use all of my skills at my disposal to never get hit ever. After I've used all of my healing <laughs> in the earliest part of the run. I don't know if it's because I'm more comfortable with the idea that I have healing items that I take a few more risks and get end up getting injured a lot more right at the very beginning. You will not bring back a bunch of these little things. Sorry, not this time, Necromancer. Kill you quick. Healers, you're down. We got fire guys. There's one down. Try to avoid fireballs. There's two down. Excellent. Well, we're going into this room with slightly more health than before, but that doesn't really mean anything. We could, we could very quickly just get eradicated by all of these archers and their horrible, horrible weapons. Explody guy. We got you archers here firing out shots that just do a ridiculous amount of damage. Fireball guy, die. Nope, we don't need fireballs everywhere and we don't need to be, we, yeah, don't charge into my face. Thank you. And then we got the slowpoke who explodes. The scarab beetle bad guy. Oh. Face mask. Bunch of little... Little horribles. Gotta kill this thing before it wakes everything up. You are not allowed to wake up all the dead. Ha! Not this time, buddy. Oh, we got a key! I think we just made it to an area we haven't been to before. We've done it, Reddit. 
There's a button that opens up this and allows us to go back and get a shortcut. Oh, heavens. We're going back to town and doing an upgrade right away because uh, otherwise I'm going to waste all of that money. <laughs> I know me, and I'm going to waste all of that money. Could likely do some other things too with it because we have a lot of money right now. Like we could, uh, we could buy bottled wrath or a golden heart. We're buying a golden heart. <laughs> I want to be able to heal better, for sure. All sources of health that we get are now increased when we have that on. Where are you at? There you are. I like the idea of a mutant to debuff effects and low on health, but we don't really need that. But the rest of it, we don't have any more money to put in here, and we didn't get any uh, other treasures, I don't think. Nope, no treasures. All right, going back. Yeah, so we only have three hundred dollars. That's not enough to get the, uh, the item that we're looking for. Heading back into the dungeon. Back over here. We did get a key, which means we could go back to this place. Ah! If we push the button fast enough. Is there something down here of value? Just these statues. I feel like I'm gonna be able to break them or something like that here soon. I like the idea of that. Enemies! Do I just not have to fight them since I unlocked the door? Can that just leave? I can. Huh. Good to know. Uh, please stop, stop cornering me with your arrows. I'm not cool, bro. I did not heal that all the way. Plug. Did not heal. I mean, I did not drink that healing all the way. You know, whatever. On down here to. Um. Sweet plums. We need more mega plums. Get our potions upgraded even more. Whoops! <laughs> Line up the jumps before you take them. Word of advice. Words of wisdom to the unwise. Not saying you're unwise, audience. Just saying, you know, if you didn't know, maybe that means you're unwise. That's how that works. Okay. Ah! Ah! Wait for it to pop up. Don't be a <laughs> don't be an idiot. Don't be me. There we go. Got our stuff back. Heading up here to this area we haven't been in yet. Off to the left or the north. The left is the way we're going. The platform here launches us over here. Whoa. Okay. Um. Okay. I see. We're getting swifty. Ah! Okay, 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 okay. Crazy. Craziness right there. It was all craziness. Why can I go over here? Oh, there's a button and a key. Okay, that's why. Excellent. So this puts us... Uh, I don't know. Puts us somewhere. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Um, okay. Uh, ah! This is hard to do on a keyboard. Yeah, I was just don't fail me now. Oh, oh gosh, look at that. Okay, okay, game. I see you. I see what you're playing at. I missed. Gotta go faster. Come on, stand at the very edge of this thing. Ah, <laughs> I did it. Look at that! Ma, I'm not a failure. What is this? Why? What is... What has that done for me? Why are you following me? Excuse me? Do you break these? Oh, one out of... Okay. It's the thing that goes in there. I gotta find the other one. Bad guys, bad guys. What you gonna do? You're gonna sh throw bugs at me, huh? You create a bunch of flesh-eating insects that then try to burrow into my face. Rude. Ah! 
Heat bombs! Those bombs didn't kill you. Heal you, dude. You gotta you gotta stop. Ah Huh. I didn't get murdered right there. Got awfully close to getting murdered right there though. Ow. Some of these dungeon rooms have way too many enemies in them. Uh, I'm almost dead. And we got you over here. Throwing stuff at us all rude-like. Okay, well, um, we're about to die again. Sitting on the precipice of defeat. Bunch of angry masks flying everywhere, shooting uh, bananas at us. I took a page out of Soraka's book, if you ever played League of Legends. Got all you. Gotta get this. Oh no. Oh no. These are those horrible, horrible uber pink blasties. And I got murdered. <laughs> okay. Okay, game. I see what you're playing at. Murder the guy who has slow reflex reflexes. I see how it goes. Ah, ah, ah. We'll go this way. Got ourselves another tablet. And we had a key so we can go in there and get the blessing of power. Extra strength. Um shuriken time. We're not even gonna go into that other door. We didn't we didn't have to do that at all. Why do we feel like we just cheated? <laughs> it's like we just skipped the, the horrible fight that we couldn't make it past a second ago. And we got another big one with Fire Doom. You and your Fire Doom and all you healies really need to go away. Kill the healers. Take out the he Ow, don't get blasted by lasers. Got you. There's another one. Why is there so many of these? And those shoot through walls and come back and hit you again. We gotta take down the healers first. Gotta avoid the pink balls that try to come back at us and murder us. Ouch. And they hurt a lot. And all the fire. Too much fire. Too much fire right now. Oh, God. And then we're doing it again. We're playing this dance again, this time with Bugman. Uh, we're gonna hide over here and drink a potion. Try not to die. Bugs, stop. Get, get off of me, Bugs. Kill this. All right. Now we can take you down. But you're making weird noises as I shoot you because you're made out of metal. Do I have to kill your bug first? Ah, uh, he was pr protecting himself. Go away, bugs. Got him. Oh, that was rough. We got ourselves a copper treasure. Not worth. Not worth. And... There's another fountain. Thank heavens. Uh, boss fight time? Yep. The Pharaoh of the desert. The usurper must not return. Okay, you're a sarcophagus. You're such a sarcopho guy. Um, those are some big shots. Got it. Uh, we know who's boss here. We know who. Bo oh dang, that hurt a lot. It's starting to feel like a longer range weapon might be even better at this fight. <laughs> Get distance on them, you know? Once more into the fight! I have to watch the cutscene every time. It seems like. I wonder if we can break his little golden... Ow! Man, they hurt so much. Like, if I was doing a melee build here, I don't have uh, the slightest clue how I would have gotten in close enough to fight this guy effectively. Every time you touch the, the gold things, it kills you. Every time. <laughs> I'm just getting wrecked. Hardcore wrecked. This might be a better boss to fight with magic. So maybe I should just switch it up.
Okay. Yeah, I can't hurt those. And that's really frustrating to me. Oh god, now there's explosions all over the room. And drink it. Pick it out of the way. Ah, oh, fell off cliff. <laughs> oh, this is a rough fight. Poison knives be better? Probably not. Take poison. Eat poison, you weird sir coffee guy. Here we go. Now, somehow I don't think this is better. <laughs> some strange reason. Mostly because it doesn't travel through his allies. But we'll switch back. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This is like the most optimal time to hurt him. That's when he's doing those, those fire attacks. Because I can strafe around a little bit. Uh, so many... Nope. Don't heat seek me. No, please. Do. I'm coming over here. Ah. Uh, uh, um. Okay, get back in. There is just so much happening on screen all at once. How, how can I pay attention? My inability to pay attention. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Ah! Come back over here. Hide from the fire and heal. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, we're almost. Come, got him! <laughs> Who? The fallen pharaoh. You've taken on Diablo and defeated him. In a heart container, healing another healing flask. Oh, that's good news. That is some good news right there. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Continuing on. Why, hello there, little eyeball guy. I remember murdering you. Then it is true. You truly can slay the undying. Quite a sight to be old. The old king wielded power far beyond what you or I could ever hope to fathom. Maybe we'll change it. You would slaughter most who posed a threat to his rule. For some, however. He would reserve a punishment far worse than death. Upon those he most despised, he would place a curse of undying. The undying are no longer bound by the constraints of mortality. Plagued by unspeakable hallucinations and malignant thoughts, they were to live eternally, sealed in the king's underground chambers. With the king banished, the undying now protect the archpieces at my behest. A line of defense I had long thought to be impenetrable. What are you? Zoop. Welcome back. You missed a hell of a boss fight. Arch piece. That is two of one, two. There we got. How count five, seven, seven total. So two out of seven. Oh, yeah. So that's another arch piece down. We have a couple of areas on the map we haven't really looked at yet. Got another town over there we want to get to. I think we're going to do that before the end of today's episode. As long as I make it there. I mean, you know, could die. Going through the Murkmire. Look at all these little glass orb eyeballs. Shatter them with some obsidian boomerangs. We got wisp dust. That's cool sounding. Well, send me a link or something, my friend. Spider weave. I like the music of this place. It's very cartoon horror vibe. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. Stop murdering yourself. Pay attention to where your enemies are shooting and try to not be there. 
They have all these uh, heat-seeking shots, though. These this pink shots are my my downfall. You should have seen the run when I tried to <laughs> do that stupid lasery volley. One of these things. Here we go with another challenge room, everybody, and let's see how good we are at this one, or if I just get murdered right away. All right. Here we go. Oh, we got triple shots happening. Okay. This one doesn't feel as hard to deal with necessarily. Not at this many anyways, because those things just fire in a straight line. If you know where they originated from, you can kind of just avoid it. But I could be eating my words here in a second as there are multiples of these things starting to spiral around me and shoot at me me in the face in this when in the in the way, way the face is you know in the front and the, i can't <laughs> i saw that happening and i was like nope that's all there is to it it's like being in a have you ever been in an accident you ever been in a car accident where you can see it slow-mo coming out and you're like okay i'm about to crash i mean i've never caused one but i have been uh, subject to those before one winter, one lovely, lovely winter when I re lived in Redmond, Oregon a long time ago. I should probably pay attention to what I'm doing. There was a pretty heavy snowstorm that happened. And there's this street there that is two, uh, two lane highway, uh, both going two different directions. And it heads up a rather steep um, hillside incline. And I was just driving little little old car, uh, something called a Dodge Stealth. They're kind of sporty little car. I was driving it from uh, the apartment I had been staying at and trying to go to, like, I think it was going to Blockbuster Video back when those things existed. And uh, was going to go get a movie or a game or something. And the snow was coming down so hard, people were having a hard time seeing and everything. And this guy in a big dually pickup truck. I saw him slide out of control, and then his brakes just didn't do anything. Um, and he just came into my lane head on, slammed into the vehicle. And we, we both just looked at each other, and it was just like, shrug, sorry, I can't get out of this anymore. We're both going to get hit. <laughs> it's like, damn. Anecdotes. Uh, yeah, this one is far harder with four of these firing at once. Of course, they did calibrate it to not be super fast on their shots, which I appreciate. Um, still, I can't believe I made it through that tiny, tiny space I was just out on that last one, though. There's some neat ninja-style moves I'm doing sometimes in here. Other times, not so much. Uh, you gotta time it for when you know one or the other of the groups are going to shoot so you can stay away from where the- Ow! Oh, I thought I got it! Dang it! Challenging, not punishing. Yeah, the other one that I ran was definitely, like, punishing. That was that was something that made it difficult for me to breathe mentally. <laughs> this one, not quite as bad. I at least get the idea that, yes, I can do this, whereas that one, I was like, I gotta get really lucky. Ah, because I am not skilled enough it was to, to dive between all these little tiny spaces and use my mouse to dodge. Um. Okay, come on. Come. This game did just recently get uh, released on Xbox um, Live or whatever that they've got the whatever the thing you can play games on monthly their version of PS Plus. I was trying to dodge there. Why did that not work? I must have I have to hit a direction at the same time as use the dodge effect, otherwise it doesn't go anywhere. Come on. Come on. Uh, uh, nope. No, no shooting me. Stop shooting me. I need magical skills that make it so that I'm invulnerable temporarily, please. Oh god. Dang it. I need to get good. I'm a scrub. I don't want no scrub. Scrub is a guy that can't get no love from me. Hanging at the passenger side of his best friend's ride. Trying to holla at me. Why do I know this song? It was very popular in the 90s, believe me. It's not such a... I mean, it's... I wouldn't call it a classic. 
Thank you, friend. Ah! I was reading instead of watching bullets. I wonder if I can do that whole let's misdirect things. Like, probably not. At least at this point, dying doesn't actually take away my health because my armor's too good. They, they, they don't seem to ramp up the amount of uh, damage these shots cause over the time that um, I've been doing each one of these things. So you kind of just have an unlimited chance to do it until you go insane, intensely insane, and just decide to give up on life out of frustration and rage quitting. That, 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 burgers. I'm hungry. Mm, I'm hungry for victory. That's what I'm hungry for. Ah, that was so much closer. It was only like a grab or two away, I swear. I almost had it that time, and now I'm all flustered. Somebody help me be unflustered. Ah, ball sacks. Eduardo ball sacks. Oh no. Um, mouse, can you please go back to the game? <laughs> the problem with dual monitors. Yikes, 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 uh, yikes, yikes, yikes. Come on, come on. Yikes. <laughs> yes, bees, your boobs have given me success. <laughs> Soul Shatter badge. When destroyed, protection hearts shatter into homing projectiles. If I can get a stack of, of uh, protection thingy bobbers, whatever, then maybe that would be really worth it. I guess I don't know until then, but... Dark steel ore. Look, I'm getting all of these new ores with every single place, but I can't do as much with them as I want. Ow. Okay, tree beard, knock it off. You and your pink bananas. I don't like pink bananas. Keep your pink bananas off of me. Hello, little fireflies. Um, yeah. Oot. We got werewolves. We got treants and werewolves. Oh God, there's so many things on screen at once. You have blue orbs. Have I seen blue orbs before? I feel like I haven't seen blue orbs before. Got some more ore, dark steel ore. <laughs> what is up here? Sweet, a fountain. We like ourselves some fountains. They give us some benefities. Extra defenses. Uh, go around the corner and up there. That's all we got left. Okay, okay. Gotta fight again. Hello there, spider things. Hello, treants. You made a bunch of, uh, spiky brambles. Defeated you. Wait a second. Am I confused here? Or did I go somewhere else? I wasn't fighting those. I was fighting, like, werewolves and stuff in here last time. Oh, gosh. There's so many things in the air. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Ow. Ow. They slow you down. And it's awful. Quit brambling me. There are a bunch of different materials in this area, though, which is kind of neat. Like, we have, uh, we got spider silk, we got wisp dust, we got dark steel ore, and we have, um, like, those tree, tree bits. Ow. Gives me a reason to farm certain ones, maybe, but I haven't so far found a problem with, uh, or found any any moments where I really needed to, to farm out any one particular ingredient. Alright! Got ourselves a Megaplum! 
Poor little crystal shard, you're dead. Are these like mega urns? Nope, still do the same damage. Just different colored because of the atmosphere. I am not uh, feeling incredibly confident right now. Dark steel ore. There's some more spider weed. Sweet, got ourselves another fountain. Probably right outside the city. Increase our defenses a little bit. Excellent. And then we'll go up here, and this should be a new... It's Bog Town, y'all. City child, you look like you've never seen a frog with hair before. I haven't. That would be why I felt that way about this strange situation I found myself in. Hello there, froggy. Seems nothing ever changes around here. And that's just the way I like it. I was attempting a Kermit impression. In need of supplies? What do you got? Flails and hoods and robes and art containers straight up and a winged bow. Uh, we'll do it. We'll buy those heart containers off the other two of them. We got the money. It gives us an entire other heart, so that's nice. Um, we get to open up a new bank. Pump our money into it. The Bank of Merk Merkmeyer. We can store up to 1,200 gold now. Put the money in there. Go on, take the money and run. Go on, I said. Take the money and run. What can we make now? Uh, we can make fairy lances. That's how we make mirror. Druid bow. A spider octashot. I like the way that sounds. Wisp mother staff. A widow spear. It also slows enemies at the same time. Uh, wisp silk hood. Increased defense, protection, and magic damage up. So if we want to do that, dark steel helmet. It's got just got straight armor. Dark steel plate body. Huge defenses on that. Dark steel hatchet, sword, staff, and bow. Bag of frozen poison knives. <laughs> I mean, now you're just getting ludicrous. But I'm down. Whatever. We already got our bag of poison knives, claw blade, crab orang, moon jelly cap, slimy flail, slime bubbler, doom rose. Undead essence and fire flowers gives us a doom rose. Poisons and burns. We're starting to get some interesting stacking up type thingy bobbers now. We're going to buy ourselves one of these. And we're going to try out the spider octoshot. That's what I thought it did. Look at that. Now we got a AOE machine gun. Jump, 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 jump. Not sure how if it's better than what we're using. 140 damage versus 112, and it slows enemies. All right, you sold me on that. We're gonna we're gonna use that for a bit. That seems pretty good. Uh, anything interesting up here? What do you got, buddy? You come to Brio's my extensive badge collection. Badge slot would be nice to get that. Blood exchange replace all normal hearts with protection hearts. So if we had this, and then we had the other thing, but well, you couldn't heal back. Protection hearts don't come back when you use heal. Fairy fighter summons a fairy that reduces enemy defense. That's cool. Dark heart. Defeated enemies provide minor healing. Ooh, life steal. I want it. Tornado chain. Flails spin faster. And bottled wrath. Okay. A few cool items there we could get, maybe. Metamorphosis hurts. At least I'll be a big frog soon. I mean, sorry, kid. We all got to grow up someday. Growing pains suck for everybody involved. Wait. Uh, blub. Blub. <laughs> Land tadpoles. Land poles. All right, everybody. That has been uh, today's episode of Archvale. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed yourselves. I will see you around next time here on Lottery Star's channel with the games and things. Goodbye.